four and a half years ago, I, uh, I, I, I found out about a 12-step fellowship. Uh, most people have heard of something called Alcoholics Anonymous. Well, somebody told me about a thing called Cocaine Anonymous. And I phoned up their helpline and he explained to me what he knew of addiction. And it was like, you know, it seems to me now, I can't believe I didn't realise this at, my, you know, at the time myself, because it seems really, really obvious to me now. But what he did, he sat me down and he explained to me the mal what we call a malady of addiction, a disease of addiction. And he, he explained to me the phenomenon of craving, which means that once you start, you can't stop. Like, he also explained to me like uh, the, the obsession of like wanting to use again. So like, I, I was going through like a binge using at weekend. I would kind of like I'd be re after when I when it came to a stop, like, I'd start feeling really well. I'd eventually recover and I would start obsessing about using again. And, and I, an obsession is just a thought that kind of outweighs all other thoughts. So it kind of like, you know, I might sort of like uh, use at the weekend, make myself like really ill by sort of Sunday evening. I would promise myself that next weekend I'm not using again because I don't want to feel as bad as I feel right now. And then like, throughout the week I start feeling a little bit better. And by the time I started like, uh, sort of like recovering and getting over how bad I felt the weekend before, I would start thinking, well, it might be a nice idea if I just tried maybe a little half a gram, like later on in the pub. And once I'd had that little half a gram, the phenomenon of craving would kick in and I'd want more. And, and it, was, it was perpetual.